Hi everyone! In this video, we'll take a quick look at two special types of layers in Pixelmator Pro. Color adjustments layers and effects layers. We'll discuss what they are, how they work, and a few different ways you can use them. First, let's check out where you can find these layers. At the top of the layers sidebar, you'll see a few buttons. The plus button lets you quickly add an empty image layer. And the button next to it is for adding all other types of layers, including color adjustments and effects layers. You probably already know that color adjustments and effects can be applied to layers directly, so why is there a need for separate layers to do this? Well, say you're editing a photo and you'd like to selectively edit different parts of the same photo using different adjustments. First, you might make some basic initial adjustments to the entire photo, adjusting white balance, exposure, and highlights, for example. Then, in this image, you might want to make some selective edits. Let's say we wanted to completely change the color of the t-shirt. Well, if we didn't have color adjustments layers, we could try using the replace color adjustment. The only trouble is, the shade of the background is quite close to the shade of the t-shirt, so the replace color adjustment wouldn't work on the layer itself. We'd probably have to duplicate the layer, then mask out the t-shirt, and we'd have two separate layers with the same content and some of the same adjustments. But with color adjustments layers, there's a better way. If you click the Add Layer button and choose Color Adjustments, you'll get a color adjustments layer that will apply adjustments to all the layers below it. Color adjustments layers are just like other layers. You can apply masks to them, adjust their blending options, and more. Here you can make some adjustments to this layer. For example, Let's bump up the tint to 100%. Now the adjustments are being applied to the entire image, which isn't ideal. But all we need to do is select the t-shirt and create a mask based on that selection. On this occasion, to save us some time, we've already selected the parts we need and cut them out. If you'd like to learn how to make great selections, you can check out our video on the Select and Mask tool and some of the other selection tools. We'll leave a link to those in the video description. So, we'll just command-click the thumbnail of the parts we cut out to load it as a selection and create a mask that way. Now we can turn on the hue and saturation adjustment and just move the hue slider to completely transform the color of the t-shirt. We could even make some more changes using the basic adjustment. Finally, let's say we also wanted to change the color of the background in this image. We can simply add another color adjustments layer and repeat the same steps as before. And again, to save us some time, we've cut out the subject in the photo. So we can just load it as a selection, add a mask to the color adjustments layer, and make some edits just like before. So that was a quick look at color adjustments layers. They're absolutely fantastic for many photography workflows, and we hope you'll love using them. Now let's move on to effects layers. They work in pretty much the same way. Here, we've opened an image created by applying effects to the layers directly. As you can see, there are also some duplicate layers that we're using to achieve this effect, and if we moved one of the text layers, the effect would break. What's more, if we moved the oval layer, it also wouldn't work correctly. Let's see how we can recreate this visual using effects layers. First, we'll need to control click the group layer and choose effects, then choose copy effects. Then command click the oval shape layer to load its outline as a selection. Next, delete the group layer and the oval shape entirely. Now click the Add Layer button and choose Effects. Control click the Effects layer and choose Effects, Paste Effects. The group layer we deleted also had some color adjustments. So click the Add Layer button again and choose Color Adjustments. Option drag the mask from the Effects layer to the Color Adjustments layer to copy it over. Here increase the exposure a little and add some saturation.
You can also group all three of the top layers together to be able to easily move them. To make it easier to keep track of everything, name the group effects. Now you can move the effects layer and all the layers below it will be affected. You can also move the text layer and the effect will continue to work. So that's a quick look at what color adjustments and effects layers do and how to use them. We hope you found this video useful and that it helps you make the most of color adjustments and effects layers in your own creative workflows. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.